Hey guys, welcome to another video and yes, what you're looking at the screen right now is the POCO X3 Pro. I have unlocked it today. This is not my phone. My phone is still stuck in transit with Flipkart. Anyways, there is a discussion for another day, but in today's video, I'm going to show you how to go ahead and install pitch black recovery or a custom recovery which will allow you to flash custom ROMs and in case you need root access, I will also show you how to install Majisk with root access. So this is going to be a relatively quick video. Of course, you need unlocked bootloader, but we'll talk about that in the complete video. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community. You can join us there and help us reach a thousand member. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, Hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash, let's get going. All right, so first things first, let's have a look at the device. Now, of course, we have 80% battery. This is a POCO X3 Pro, which has been unlocked. So the bootloader is unlocked. I applied for unlocking or tried unlocking the moment I got this device a week back. And uh, since then, uh, we have not signed out of the MI account. We did not swap SIM cards. And now it's simply unlocked after waiting for 168 hours. Now, let me tell you the things that you will need, of course. Well, if you need to install TWRP, I would recommend you have an unlocked bootloader and make sure you have more than 50% battery and that you have backed up all the information on your phone, including the photos and everything else. And do this at your own risk. Although this is safe, but this is something unofficial. So do it if you know what you're doing. You will need the recovery image file, which is linked in the description. You will need minimal ADB and fast boot or fast boot tools. You will have to make sure that your device is detected on your Windows computer in fast boot mode. And then it's just one command and you should be good to go. So we have a POCO X3 here, 80% battery, everything fine and dandy, nothing signed in, no screen locks, nothing at all. So considering that you've unlocked the device, what we need to do. First thing that I would like to recommend here is you need to go to settings, go to about phone and over here, go to all specs and then tap on MIUI version till the time the developer options is enabled. Scroll down to additional settings and then go to developer options and enable USB debugging. There you go. It will give you a prompt that this is the warning, that is the warning, hit OK. All right. So now once we've done everything, we are ready. And as I said at the start of the video, you will need a Windows computer, which should have minimal ADB and fast boot installed. So now that I already have it installed and I already have the recovery downloaded, we are going to go ahead and flash it to this wonderful POCO X3 Pro. Now, when you download this particular file and you need to keep it in the folder, in which minimal ADB and fast boot is installed. What we need to do first is we need to boot this device into fast boot. And to do that, you will press and hold volume down and power together till the device enters the fast boot mode. Now, as you can see over here, the device is in fast boot mode. So of course you will need a Windows computer. I'm also going to share my screen with you guys. The first thing that you need to do is you need to connect your USB type C cable to the computer and the other end to your phone over here. Now, of course, on the screen, there won't be any activity. It will still say that it is in fast boot mode. All right. So leave it like that. And on the computer, you need to first go to this recovery. So copy this recovery file and paste it in your minimal ADB and fast boot folder. So I can just go here and type in CMD and hit enter. The first thing that you need to do is type in fast boot space devices to make sure that your device is detected properly. There you go. So the device is detected and it is still connected to the computer. Now the next thing that you need to do is you need to type in fast boot space flash space recovery space recovery dot img hit enter now again nothing changes on the screen of the phone over here all right now the flashing part is done 
Now without disconnecting the phone from the computer, what you need to do is press and hold volume up and power, okay? Till the time you see the POCO logo. The moment you see the POCO logo, you can let the buttons go off. Okay, release the buttons. And wait for it to boot. All right, now as you can see on the screen, we are in pitch black recovery, all right? So you have settings where you can change multiple settings. This is very similar to TWRP. It is based on TWRP. It is very close to Orange Fox. You have the reboot menu over here. So reboot to system, power off, reboot to recovery, reboot to bootloader, fast boot. You have all those options. You have the option to install files. You can wipe things. So if you go to advanced, you can wipe everything. And if you do format data, format data is working as well. I have just tested that. You have an option to mount stuff over here. So that is working. In advanced, you have other options like file managers, fix, fix contexts and everything else. All right. Now let's see one important thing over here that while in recovery, if we connect this to the computer, does it get detected on the computer as a, as a internal storage or not? Okay. It says yes. So this somehow is a problem with the POCO devices because even though it is mounted right now, but the internal storage is not reflecting. So if you disable MTT, disable MTP, it gets disabled. You have internal storage, it's showing zero MB. Enable MTP, again, the device would be visible on the computer, but it won't allow you to transfer files. Now, the next thing that we're going to check over here that we've not flashed a root access right now. So we will say go to reboot and reboot to system. So what I want to do here is on the POCO X3 Pro, I need to check if after rebooting to system, does the recovery stay or stick around or it gets overwritten by the system recovery because that is sort of important on the stock ROM. And we do have a couple of other videos coming up, MMX ROM, Xiaomi.eu ROM for this device. So those are going to be very, very interesting. For now, we are booting into the system. The system has booted up fine. Let's press and hold volume up and power and wait for the POCO logo and then we can release the buttons. Okay, let's see if it goes to pitch black recovery or not. No. So as you can see over here, if you do not flash Majisk or DFE, it actually overwrites the recovery. So what we're going to do here quickly is I'm going to copy the Majisk file to the phone's internal memory that is Majisk.zip, the latest one. And uh, we will go ahead and reflash pitch back recovery and then we will go ahead and root it and see if root access works or not. All right, now before we proceed and actually install Majisk and you know, installed root on this ROM. I've just installed the Majisk APK or the Majisk Manager APK. And I have also installed Majisk Canary. And in both the versions, the safety net is failing. Now we are on a stock ROM, the recovery is stock. The only thing that is there is that the bootloader is unlocked. Now, I don't know why this is happening. It says evaluation type hardware. I will do some digging into this and maybe I'll get back to you guys on this, but Overall, I really, really don't know why is this happening. But if we go to the Play Store and see stuff like that, it does say device is not certified. So I'm not sure if uh, you unlock the bootloader that very moment itself, it is showing your device is not certified because that could lead to a few other problems. But that is the reason we are here. That is the reason we are making such videos. Anyways, let's install Pitch Black Recovery and uh, Let's go ahead and root the phone. All right, so before we actually begin the entire process of uh, installing TWRP and routing this, let me tell you in pitch black recovery, the internal storage for some reason is not accessible. And if you connect it to the computer, still the computer cannot see the internal storage. Now I had similar problems with the POCO X2 and I continue to have those problems with X3. All right, so now what we're going to do here is we are using a OTG cable with a pen drive to access the root file that is majisk 22 zip i don't know if you guys can see it i'm pretty sure you can so swipe to confirm flash so the recoveries are still in the early you know stages and that is the reason some recoveries have some issues and sorry for this wrong angle but uh, that is the only way we can do it 
now it does say it is done so we're going to reboot and we're going to reboot into system two things to check over here first thing to check is if the device got rooted or not second thing after the device being rooted does the recovery stick or it is still overwritten by the stock recovery let's wait for the phone to boot up all right so the phone has booted up just fine and we have just installed root checker that is what we are doing right now and we're quickly going to open it and see if we have good enough root access or not agree yeah i don't want to see all of this So verify root grant okay so root access is working fine now we can go to the Majisk manager it says RAM disk yes 22.1 is the version that is installed we can go ahead and check safety net once again and it fails so safety net is failing at the same time if we go to settings and about in the play store it says device not certified now towards the end of this video the last thing that we are left to check if is the recovery still there or it is overwritten by the stock recovery so press and hold volume up and power till you see the poco logo let's wait for it to boot up there you go so if you install majisk the recovery will stay but you will lose play store certification you will lose safety net which can cause issues with your banking applications nonetheless this was a quick and sort of complicated way of installing a twrp or a pitch black recovery and we gained root access as well things to take care of towards the end of this video internal storage is not yet accessible by the recovery that is one it cannot be accessed from the PC as well or a laptop for that matter. The only way to do it is use a OTG cable and a pen drive and you can flash ROMs and do whatnot. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video. Until the next one, this is Kailash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.